Hey guys, it's Shanrock. So today I'm doing a little bit of a different type of video. I'm actually doing a cheap makeup haul. I am by no means a beauty guru. I don't know what I'm doing, to be quite honest. But I thought it'd be kind of fun as a poor college student to figure out that what I can get and, you know, just different things I can do with makeup. I really was trying to get into makeup and find out its art form. So. I spent a total of $11 on all this stuff. I know it's not high quality, top of the line makeup, but that's kind of the point. For the, for the people like me who have no money, this is a video for you. So with makeup, of course, you have to get a little makeup bag. This is Beauty Secrets. This is from the dollar store. So this was a dollar. It's actually a really nice burlap for material. It's very thick and sturdy. I'm very surprised. And the zipper actually seems pretty decent. But again, it is also from the dollar store, so I'm pleasantly surprised. The next product I got is a BB Beauty Cream. And it is in the color Light 1. I'm actually very surprised how well this fit into my skin. It didn't have any sort of um, swatches you could check because it was the dollar store. Um, but I'm very surprised. I put this on and this actually felt really good. I may actually get this again and it didn't clog up my pores. So, whoops. So I'm very happy with this, honestly. I definitely actually recommend it. It's by the brand Sassy and Chic. The next product I got was Wet and Wild Lipstick in the color Dark Wine. I actually really like the color of this lipstick. I haven't tried it. I'm gonna try it on camera for you. I can get the package open. This I also got at the dollar store. Uh, Wet n Wild is actually a vegan brand, so when I try to do makeup, I actually try to look for vegan as much as I can because even though I'm not vegan, it's kind of nice to know, hey, I'm making a difference, I'm doing things, and I'm not sporting animal cruelty. So I'm actually gonna put this on just a little bit. Oh, that actually goes on pretty smooth. So as you can see, it actually went on pretty smooth. I didn't get all of my lips, just enough to, so you can see it on the camera. Feels pretty good, actually. I'm kind of surprised. And let's see how well it smudges off. Smudges off but the color itself actually kind of stays. So I'm actually very surprised and all I'm doing is rubbing it. It looks like you might need some reapplication throughout the day, but other than that, pretty decent, honestly. I'm kind of happily surprised about that. I'm very picky about lipstick, so feels pretty good. The next product I got was LA Colors Pressed Powder in the color Nude. This does not look like it's going to be a very high quality powder. Oh, it even comes with a sponge. That's kind of cool. So it came with a little sponge. Um, this looks like something that might get a little bit cakey. This also looks way lighter than my actual, or on camera it looks a little darker, but in real life it looks a little too light. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, I know I don't have foundation on, but I'm just gonna see how well it actually goes on. It does look a little bit powdery. I don't know if you guys can see that. Even with a little bit of blending, it still seems a little bit powdery, but honestly, if you need a powder in a pinch, it'd probably be decent. I, I personally am not into colored powders, but that is like the closest they had. So I mean, what can, I, what can you do? This next product is LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner in the color Black Brown. And all these things so far are at the dollar store. I'll let you know when I switch over from stores. And if you look at it, this is actually the eyeliner I prefer to use. I love this stuff. And there's a built-in little pen on the end. I know not a lot of people like this sort of pen. But I love this sort of eyeliner. I think it goes on the best for me. 
I don't really like pencils. I really like liquid. So the next product I have is 12 color eyeshadow in Chic Pack. And this one seems to be a little bit more purpley. I got this simply to match my hair. Um, I also really love eyeshadow when playing around with eyeshadow, even though I'm not an expert. But eyeshadow in general is something fun. You can always change up and, you know, you can match your hair, you can match your outfit, you can match your eyes. And on the inside, I'm going to crack this one open. Or not. Oh, come on. They put like a weird piece of tape over the cover. I'm actually kind of, I kind of like the packaging. I just don't like the sponges it comes with. I hate using those sponges. There's a little layer of film over that powder or the uh, eyeliner. And I mean, there's not so much in there, but then again, this is a dollar store product, but honestly, they don't look too, too shabby. I'm going to take... I'm going to take this color, just more of a neutral color, and see how it turns out on me. Just to see how well it's going to stick. It actually comes really... It comes off pretty nice. I didn't have to swipe that too hard. And I don't ever use this. I use this for my... Um, I use my fingers to blend. And it goes on pretty light. It looks kind of like a bruise. <laughs> I may need some more. So this stuff you might need to cake on a little bit. I don't know if if you want like a really bright pigment anyway. If you want something a little bit more natural and not so noticeable, then that might be really good. It doesn't tend to come out too, too bright. If I pick, let's see, let me see the darker one. Let me see how that one turns out. The uh, dark purple right here. I'm gonna see how that one turns out. Cause it might just be that color. Yeah, this is more of like a lighter uh, purple. It like more of a natural color. It's not super bold. And if I do another layer, it actually comes out pretty dark. My cat is trying to say hi. So I mean, for eyeshadow, it's still pretty decent. It definitely you can work with it, but. It's not the best eyeshadow I've ever used, but I also really like experimenting with a bunch of different little eyeshadows, so I'd rather get two cheaper ones. The next one is LA Colors, another 12 color eyeshadow in Trendy. And this one I got more to match my eyes. I tend to have hazelish, brownish eyes. When I do eyeliner, I try to match my hair, but if I'm going to work or something, I definitely want a little bit more of a natural look. I say with the bright purple hair. Because I just don't want too much going on, you know? My hair is the main focus. Again, it comes with a little film. These are what the colors look like. And since I just tested the other colors, I'm only going to test one out of here. So I really like the natural browns and nude sort of colors. I'm going to go with this one right in the middle. They don't have any names. It does come up really well. It doesn't like fly everywhere, you know? Which I do like. And then put it next to my kissing mark. So this one came out pretty good. I only swiped this once. I didn't have to go back in and that pigment's pretty good. So I'd say this one is actually really, really nice for the browns. Uh, purple may just not be their best pigment, but the brown looks like it'll work really well. Moving on to Walmart, all the products I showed you so far are from the dollar store. This was at Walmart and it was half off in the Christmas section and I went on the 27th. So this entire kit was $5. I honestly mostly got this for the powder foundation, bronzer, creamy concealer, contour cream, eye highlighter, and the eyeshadow. The brushes are a nice touch. I don't usually use brushes too much, but it'll be nice to actually have brushes to work with. It's a 27 piece set. And one thing I actually really like about this box is on the back it shows you where to apply all the different makeup right there. 
I think I might actually cut that out and put it um, somewhere since I'm not very strong in the makeup department. Not yet, but I'm definitely going to try and learn, even though I'm 19. <laughs> I was a kid that just kind of didn't talk much, didn't do a whole lot, just wrote books all the time. Didn't really have much interest in doing anything like, wow, me, you know? So you slide it out of the box, there's just like this colorful thing behind it, and then you're left with plastic. So I'm going to start off with the brushes. I have no idea what the brushes are called, but I do know what they're used for. So this nice little brush, the bristles feel a little bit cheap, but it definitely feels usable. I really like the actual design of the brush at the end. I find that's really, really cool. The brushes are soft, but I just don't know how durable the bristles actually will be. I absolutely hate sponge applicators, but it's literally like the cheap thing that comes in a dollar store, dollar store kit with just like a fancy end. This is another brush. Again, just the same fancy thing. The bristles on this one feel a little bit more durable, but it also feels like I might need to get another makeup brush after like a while. But don't you technically have to do that anyway? I honestly don't know what this is. I'm thinking this is something eyebrow. Um, it's like a hard little comb on one side and a soft little brush on the other. Those bristles are very hard. Same little ends. It also came with two moisturizing lip glosses. I don't know if I'm going to use these. Um, I really doubt this kit is vegan. But I mean, it's one in a peachy color and then one in a rosy color. And it literally just says lip gloss on it. Not anything too special. In here, there is also a little case. It looks like fake animal skin. Now on the inside, there's not really a whole lot. I'm pretty sure this is just for the eyeshadow. In fact, let me pop that out. Yeah, this is definitely for the eyeshadow. Yep. I don't know why they didn't just put it in here then. Yeah, so this fits perfectly in here, so you can clasp it, and then I didn't unwrap the eyeshadow yet. We'll get to that in a minute. It's a little bit stuck. There we go. And then it has the eyeshadow, but we'll talk about that in a second. It came with a tiny little thing of contour cream. There's a warning on the back saying if irritation continues, uh, discontinue and consult a doctor slightly concerning. So contour cream. It's a tiny, 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 tiny little container. But this actually looks really dark. It's a cream contour. And I'm going to do a little... It's very dark. Um, but it blends pretty doesn't blend too too well it might take some serious blending but I don't have any contour stuff so this is definitely a start Woo. next we have a little eye highlighter we have like a quilty sort of gold and bronzy sort of color it literally just looks like a quilt I'm going to take some of the, ooh, the stuff comes up real easy. Very shiny on my finger. And very, very shiny on my arm. This stuff blends out pretty good, so this actually might be pretty nice. Um, if you wanted it to stay a little more, you'd probably have to do a few more layers. Creamy concealer. Fun fact, I sometimes use this stuff as eyeliner. I know I shouldn't, but I do. So it just opens up like so. It looks like there was supposed to be a brush here, but there's not. Um, 
it's pretty much the same as the contour cream that I just had. I may end up using this for a contour simply because I'm super pale all the time. Next up is powder foundation. It'll pop out. Again, they look both kind of quilty. There's two different colors. There's not very much, it's super thin, but again, this is just a starting pack for me because I've never really done a whole lot of makeup and this is what my friends recommended I try. It looks like the paler one is gonna match me a bit better, but we shall see. And then finally, we got blush and bronzer, again in sort of thicker quilted patterns. Finally, we have eyeshadow. This actually has names on it, but it's kind of on a peel sticker. It's not really an actual case. This is the actual case for the eyeliner or for the eyeshadow. But as you can see, they come in different names. So I'm going to try Galaxy, which is the bottom color, to see how that shows up on me. I'm going to take this sponge brush right in Galaxy, which is a very, very, very dark black with some sparkles. That's actually very pigmented. I'm very surprised. It blends out pretty well. So now it just kind of looks like a weird bruise. <laughs> yeah. This stuff blends out, but it also has pretty decent pigment. I'm kind of surprised. I thought the pigment was going to be garbage. It's just the issue with this is getting it to stay. I think so. I'm just sticking one part there. I'm just trying to get this into the actual container. I just clawed a chunk out. I think it's kind of weird how they didn't like already put it in here. I feel like that's really inconvenient. But hey, what can I say? Got it for $5. So overall, I think my favorite product in this was the BB cream or the Wet n Wild uh, Red Wine. Um, I really like how this feels on my mouth now that it's dried. Um, it may need some reapplication, but then again, it is a dollar store product. I like this overall because it feels really nice and it's breathable. And it's also multi-action. It's skin, tear, skin care and makeup. And even though it's one ounce, you really don't need that much. So my least favorite product in here, I would have to say, is the powder, the LA Colors powder. And the two lip glosses, these to me look like they're very four-year-old girly, yeah, see? And if you push it out, it's just like a goopy, goopy mess. Like if I put this on my mouth, ugh, it's very thick. It looks decent on camera. But overall, it kind of feels terrible. Uh, when I was little, I used to think lip gloss was the bomb.com. I have a very hard time with lip gloss. I get very picky. But anyways, this was my cheap makeup haul. If you guys liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know that drill, and I'll see you guys in another time. Toodles! Thank you.